Hey there, Simon Page here, simonpage.com. In this video, I want to talk to you about lead magnets. You know, some people call it an ethical bribe, some people call it a free download, but in general, a lead magnet is something of value that you give away to a prospective uh, client or customer in exchange for their email address so that you can then provide them more value and make offers to them uh, to invite them to participate in your business. Now, there are a lot of different types of lead magnets that you can create and uh, I just want to go through a few of those today and then give you some ideas for how to uh, actually create your own uh, compelling lead magnet. So let's go ahead and talk about like what types of lead magnets are there? What can you actually use for, for a lead magnet? Now, obviously the most common one is a PDF, a report, um, sometimes called an ebook, and this can be anything from like a two to 40 page guide that completely reveals, you know, the uh, you know, Instagram marketing unleashed or things like that, right? One specific topic, and then you write uh, basically a, a short ebook about it. Another thing that you could do is uh, video training. Now, video training uh, can cover the same kind of content, but it's usually going to be in a video like this where it's one-on-one, -on -one, they get to see your face, and face-to-face, uh, -face, you know, even when it's video, um, builds that know, like, and trust factor um, a lot faster, so it's a really good uh, media for doing your uh, free report. Uh, also, on the same note, uh, is webinars. A uh, webinar is essentially a face-to-face -face, uh, or um, face-to-slide deck, um, but usually you're showing your face on a webinar, and a webinar gives you that same uh, ability to uh, show your face, but then also gives you the ability to interact with your audience as you're going through it. Uh, let's see, another one would be the, the cheat sheet or the infographic. Uh, this is usually going to be a lot smaller, maybe two to four uh, two to four pages long and it's going to be very specific uh, like a checklist or something along those lines um, and then you can also do uh, tools and resource lists um, I remember when I was uh, just getting started as a newbie marketer and uh, the ones that really caught my eye were when I saw people who were really well established and they were having the success that I wanted and I would see uh, lead magnets on their sites for things like, you know, discover my entire tool stack that I used to run my business in 2016 or 20, you know, whatever year. Um, and then, uh, let's see, a phone consultation or a discovery call or um, a, an initial con consult, some kind of a, a schedule, a phone, scheduling of a phone call or a Zoom call where you get on the phone with them for 20 to 45 minutes and you deliver value, you, you help them out as best you can, and then at the end you invite them to uh, come on into being a client or customer. Uh, you can also do a discount. I, I, I hope you're getting the idea here. There's just a ton of things that you can do uh, to offer free value in exchange for an email address and the right to market to people. Uh, another really popular one uh, you see all over Facebook right now is actually the quiz. You know, what kind of Harry Potter wizard are you? Or what's your Jedi name? Or, you know, all, all these fun things that people love to not just participate in, but to share. Um, and, and, and that's actually really good, too, because when, when people share, they're not sharing just their results. The results that they share actually has a, a link embedded in it that takes people to the top of the lead magnet funnel. So you, what you end up doing is you get other people driving traffic for you. It's pretty, pretty compelling. So when you sit down to actually create your avatar, there's something, or I'm sorry, when you sit down to actually create your lead magnet, there's a few things that you need to really keep in mind. And one of those, I already slipped up and said, is your avatar. Now when you, when you sit down and you're creating your free guide, or whatever format you want your lead magnet to be in, when you sit down to write, you need to think about who is benefiting from this. What is the main benefit that I want to give away? What is their primary pain point that they're struggling to solve that I can solve for them with this guide? And now, you want, uh, you want your lead magnet to be usually consumable within, within like 15 to 20 minutes. It's a rough guide. It doesn't have to be like exactly. Um, 
but usually the longer it is, the lower your conversion rate is going to be. Um, but you want to be thinking about your avatar and saying, how am I going to help that with this person? How can I present this in such a way that they're going to be able to solve the problem? How can I present uh, my offer at the end of the lead magnet? Because you always do a call to action. Um, you're, and you're thinking about how that's going to help that avatar. Um, that it, it can be something that's already um, defined in your business. If you're building your business along um, following the content marketing roadmap, you probably already have your avatar defined. But then with the lead magnet, your avatar can even be more granular than what you've got as an avatar. So you might be in, let's, let's say that you're in the golf niche. I, I tend to go back to that one for my examples. Um, let's say you're in the golf niche and you have um, three different avatars. You know, somebody who's a brand new beginner uh, and wants just general information. You have somebody who's uh, an intermediate player and they want uh, to like improve their swing, improve their stance, their form. And then you have um, parents of junior golfers, right? Those could be your three avatars in your business. Well, you might create a lead magnet called the five, uh, five easiest ways to improve your swing, right? Your, your swing is going to be, or, or th that topic is going to be of interest to a very uh, specific group of people. And it's even going to be of interest to a smaller group of people than your avatar. It's just the people who are looking to improve their swing. But when you get that kind of specificity, you're getting people targeted into that particular lead funnel with an exact known need. And then you can target your email sequence, your, your follow-up, specifically to that need. Um, you, want your, you want your value proposition uh, to be the problem that you're going to solve. You want it to be very clear and concise, highly detailed, and you want it to address a really deep pain that they're having. And then uh, when, you, when you create that, you create your, uh, your whatever format you're using, uh, whatever type of lead magnet you're using, you, and you target it specifically to that audience, you're going to get really good conversions. So I hope that, that kind of like gives you an idea of where to take your lead magnet creation. And I want to wrap this up by sharing a couple of tools that I use. Um, first, I did a video um, recently about um, creating your, your lead magnet ebook using Google Slides. I'll put a link to that down below in the description uh, if you're wanting to create an ebook. And then another tool that I use quite often uh, is pixabay.com because you get a lot of free, uh, free uh, stock imagery to go in your ebook through Pixabay. And then uh, also for like custom headlines and things like that, uh, always, you know, the fallback for us entrepreneurs is Canva. Uh, so you can't go wrong there. You can use Canva to create uh, section headers. You can use it to create your cover, uh, and it's got all the pre-built formats and every and fonts and colors and imagery and all that kind of stuff in there. So it's really useful for creating those graphics. There you go. Uh, that's uh, how to go about creating your lead magnet. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you got value from it. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And if you want to get uh, notified whenever I come out with new content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit that bell. Again, I'm Simon Page. Uh, and this is uh, 90 Days of Mindset, Marketing, and Funnels. And I, I will see you on tomorrow's video. Take care. Bye.